Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another, uh, uh, welcome to oil and gas training series. Welcome to another video from uh, Compressor. This is uh, Compressor uh, part 3. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are uh, mainly discussing about uh, compressor types. So, compressors, uh, compressors classification can be described by the following uh, flow chart. Have a look at that one. This is the main uh, compressor type. So, there is a uh, two main classification. One is uh, dynamic, dynamic compressors and another classification is uh, positive displacement. So, we can go through first dynamic, no much more uh, subdivisions are not there. So, so we will go through, uh, go through that one dynamic. In the dynamic, it is one centrifugal and another one is axial. In centrifugal, another division is there. Either it is in uh, single stage or multi-stage. So, this much classification is there. Of course, definitely some other classifications are there. But in our beginning level, entry level, uh, this much is enough to understand about uh, compressor family. So, that is fine. Uh, so, this is not ultimate uh, classification. But in our level, it is okay. And uh, entry level, it is okay. And in positive, another sub, uh, main classification is uh, positive displacement. In positive displacement, another two main uh, subdivision is there. One is rotary and another one is uh, reciprocating. So, positive, rotary and reciprocating. In reciprocating, you see reciprocating is diaphragm, uh, diaphragm type of compressor. Then uh, uh, th that is one. In uh, another one is uh, in reciprocating. Double acting and single acting. This is the another one. In double acting and single acting, there is a piston and a plunger is there. That is the another one. So, the, this all uh, we will discuss one by one in our uh, future uh, videos. So, we will get a more more idea about uh, one by one. In rotary, what is there in rotary? There is a uh, uh, sub, uh, sub classification. Lobe compressor is there. Screw compressor is there. Liquid ring is there scroll is there, vein is there. So, most of the oil industry, oil and gas industry, normal uh, applications, uh, centrifugal compressor will be there and reciprocating and rotary will be there. This type of subclassification sometimes diaphragm is there and single acting, double acting is there, screw uh, type of compressor will be there, piston plunger will be there and single stage and multi stage centrifugal compressor will be there. So, this one you have to study in uh, uh, detail and plus you have an assi assignment or home homework. Uh, whenever you go your next working station, you go there and understand which type of compressor you are using in your field. That will get a clear idea in this one. Not only like centrifugal and positive displacement or dynamic and positive displacement, but you have to understand in dynamic it is centrifugal, in dynamic it is axial, like positive displacement, reciprocating or diaphragm, double acting, single acting, piston, plunger, single stage, multi stage, like that. All you have to check in rotary, all subdivisions you have to check. Then clearly get an idea about what compressors you are using. So, let us discuss about some of the idea about, it is very entry level information I am giving here. And uh, number one in this one, dynamic compressor. In dynamic compressors, the dynamic compressor is a continuous flow compressor, is characterized by rotating impeller to add velocity and thus pressure to fluid. It is widely used in chemical and petrochemical petroleum industry for specific services. There are two types of dynamic compressor earlier we discussed centrifugal and axial flow. So, in centrifugal uh, compressor achieves compression by applying any inertial force to the gas by means of rotating impeller. This is the uh, impellers are here. here. Here is the impeller. It is multiple stage. Each stage consists of an impeller as that rotating the element and stationary element is uh, uh, that is called a diffuser. It is diffuser is there. Compression chamber no diffuser is not showing here. Fluid flow enters the impeller 
axially and discharge radially. This all we will detail, we will study one by one. The gas next to flows through the, a circular chamber diffuser where it loses velocity and increases pressure. Another one is axial flow compressor. Working fluid principally flows parallel to the axis of rotation. The energy level of air or gas flowing through it is increased by the action of rotor blades which exert a torque to the on the fluid. Have the benefit of high efficiency and large mass flow rate. Require several rows of airfoils to achieve large pressure rises making them complex and expensive. Another one is uh, multi-stage compressor because uh, it is uh, the, uh, in the centrifugal compressor stage 1, stage 2 like that one we are adding that one. There is one important point to note down in multi-stage compressor. High temperature rise leads to limitation of the maximum achievable pressure rise. Discharge temperature shall not exceed 150 degrees C and should not exceed 135 degrees C for hydrogen rich services. A multi-stage centrifugal compressor compresses air to the required pressure to multi-stages. Intercoolers are used air or gas here you have to use. Intercoolers are used in between each stage to remove heat and decrease the temperature of the gas so that gas could be compressed to higher pressure without much rises, rise in temperature. So this is the intercoolers are using. So whenever we increase as per the basic law, uh, when the pressure increasing the stage 1, temperature also increasing. So, with the high pressure and high temperature going to the next stage, so it will be you not know, possible to increase the pressure again. So, we will cool inside in between the two stage, stage 1 to stage 2 using an intercooler. So, pressure will be same and temperature will be uh, coming down. So, with the low temperature again we are uh, increasing the pressure in the second stage. So, it is continuous same like. So, this is the interstage coolers. Uh, Multi-stage compressors are using interstage coolers. Another uh, second broad classification is a positive displacement compressor. Have a look at that one. Positive displacement compressors causes movement by trapping a fixed amount of air then forcing displacing that trapped oleum into, uh, into the discharge pipe. It can be further classified according to the mechanism used to move air. Move air or gas, uh, we have to write here air or gas. Rotary compressor and reciprocating compressor. In rotary compressor, it is a rotating type concept is using. And the gas compressed by rotating action of a roller inside a cylinder. The roller rotates off center around a shaft so that Part of the roller is always in contact with the cylinder. Volume of the gas occupies is reduced and the refrigerant is compressed. High efficient as sucking in compressing refrigerant occurs continuously. So this is the simple pictorial representation of a rotary compressor. Another one is a reciprocating compressor. It is a positive displacement compressor that uses piston driven by a crankshaft to deliver gases at a high pressure. The intake gas enters the suction manifold then flows into compression cylinder. It gets compressed by a piston driven in a reciprocating motion by a, by, via a crankshaft discharged at a higher pressure. And uh, the, the, in, in, with this one uh, we have a uh, uh, little bit uh, understand basic or, or, or limited understanding on uh, uh, minimum classification of uh, compressors. Then we will go for how to select a particular type of compressor. We will get some idea on, see graph showing operating region of various compressors. Look at that one, in the y axis it is uh, discharge pressure and the x axis it is uh, inlet capacity. So just to have a look at that one, this is 0, 0, this is uh, highest and this is uh, highest. So let us go for the highest value like 1000 bar at least, 1000 bar is the higher pressure and 10,000 meter cube per hour is the highest volume. See, centrifugal and reciprocating coming in this area. So, high pressure and high, temp high capacity you need, high pressure also you need, you always going to a, a centrifugal compressor or a reciprocating compressor. Definitely with the high capacity, high pressure centrifugal is using with the multi-stage. 
and reciprocating also using that one. So, in the lower level it is C diaphragm and diaphragm is using screw is using like that one. So, in this one uh, this is only basic idea only not detailed idea. For detailed idea you have to verify your uh, station uh, details and drawings and you can do one thing and you have to go when you are visiting your plant. Uh, if you get a chance to visit your compressor next time you just to see that one which compressors are using in your area and find out what is exactly the discharge pressure and the capacity. Nameplate will be there you can verify with the nameplate. Maybe sometime no nameplate you have to ask with any mechanical persons or compressor technicians to find out that one exactly uh, which uh, type of compressor using and why it is using a centrifugal and reciprocating. Find out the answer that will clear your doubt. Thank you. And the table showing uh, it is uh, more or less same to the uh, previous uh, uh, representation. See like uh, dynamic rep uh, all compressor details are here. Here uh, five parameters are there capacity, discharge pressure, efficiency, operating speed, maximum power and application. See centrifugal high pressure I told you that and efficiency also more or less higher and process of uh, uh, gas and the air can operate like that on axial dispositive displacement various type of rotating and uh, other reciprocating compressors all are there I am not going to in detail it will take much more time. So, you will wait for this uh, make a pause here and read understand and compare with your station uh, compressor that will be giving a very good idea. And some uh, let us uh, have a idea on some advantages and disadvantages of various compressors one in dynamic compressor. So, either centrifugal or uh, axial. In centrifugal it is wide operating range is there, high reliability is there, low maintenance is there. In disadvantage side, instability or at a reduced flow, see that is one uh, instability, sensitive to gas composition change. So, that is also disadvantage. Then axial it is high capacity for a given size, high efficiency, high heavy duty, low maintenance, low compression ratio and limited turn down. And in positive displacement, reciprocating wide range ratio, high efficiency, heavy foundation required, flow pulsation, we will study this pulsation in detail in future videos, high maintenance, diaphragm, very high pressure, low flow, no moving seal, limited capacity range, periodic replacement of diaphragm, it will run a, a damage due to always using a in chemical uh, uh, pumping, chemical dosing pump, uh, compressors. Uh, or or uh, no, sorry not chemical dosing in a pump it is using chemical dosing. So, that type of application low, low pressure uh, application it will dam damage this uh, diaphragm due to corrosion. So, screw compressor wide application high efficiency and high pressure ratio expensive and unsuitable for uh, corrosive or dirty gases. So, these are the uh, various advantages and disadvantages of uh, uh, compressors. What is a drive? So, a prime over is required to drive given the power and energy to the compressor. A drive is a machine which operate drives a, a compressor. Examples electric motor that is using the energy to compressor, gas engine, diesel engine, gas turbine. Most common electric motors are most common. Electric motors are used as a prime overs, maybe either direct current or alternate current. And gas turbines are also using as a driver to compressor. And one of the important point to discuss here before closing the video, before coming end, most gases contain small amount of liquid. Often this liquid in uh, is in droplets, so small that is cannot seen by a human eye. During the process, two or more small droplets combine to form large droplets. Two, two, two or more larger droplet combine until there is definitely a liquid present. Liquids do not compress and if liquid enters a compressor serious damage will cause. The final defense is to remove all traces of liquid for, from a compressor is a suction scrubber. This is the picture. A, su a suction scrubber is a fitted into the compressor suction pipeline as near to the compressor inlet as possible. See either in this this one inlet is there this is the cover, uh, uh, 
സിമ്പിൾ പ്രോസസ് ഫ്ലോ ഡയഗ്രാം ഓർ പിക്ചറിൻ്റെ പ്രസൻറ്റേഷൻ ഇല്ലറ്റ് ഈസ് ദയർ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഇല്ലറ്റ് ഫ്ലോ ഈസ് എക്സ്പാൻഡിങ് ഇൻസൈഡ് എ ലാർജ് വോളിയം ലാർജ് വെസൽ ലാർജ് ഡയമീറ്റർ സോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ എക്സ്പാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഗ്യാസ് ലൈറ്റ് ഗ്യാസ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഹെവി ലിക്വിഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് സെറ്റിൽ ഡൗൺ ദിസ് വേ വി ക്യാൻ റിമൂവ് വാട്ട് എവർ ദ അവൈലബിൾ ലിക്വിഡ് ഡ്രോപ്ലെറ്റ് ഫ്രം ദ ഇല്ലറ്റ് ഗ്യാസ് ബിഫോർ എൻ്ററിങ് ടു കമ്പർസർ ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ വി ആർ പ്രൊവൈഡിങ് എ ഡിമിസ്റ്റർ പാഡ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഓൾസോ വി ക്യാൻ ഹെൽപ്പിംഗ് ടു റിമൂവ് ദ ഫൈനൽ ഡ്രോപ്ലെറ്റ്സ് ഫ്രം ദ ഗ്യാസ് ഗോയിങ് ഔട്ട് സൈഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ സിമ്പിൾ റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഷോയിങ് സം ഇൻറ്റേണൽ ആസ് വെൽ ഓൾസോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഇൻറ്റേണൽ ആസ് വെൽ ഇൽ ഡൈവേർട്ടർ സെൻട്രി ഫ്യൂജ് ഫിൽറ്റർ സം ടൈം ഫിൽറ്റേഴ്സ് ആർ ഓൾസോ യൂസിങ് ടു റിമൂവ് ഡസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ലിക്വിഡ് ഡ്രോപ്ലെറ്റ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് വോൾ ആൻഡ് ലിക്വിഡ് കളക്ഷൻ ഈസ് ദയർ ലിക്വിഡ് ഔട്ട്ലെറ്റ് ഗോയിങ് സ്ക്രബർ സ്ക്രബർ ഓൾസോ വി ഹാവ് ഐ ഹോപ്പ് വി ഹാവ് ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് ഇൻ അവർ പ്രീവിയസ് വേ ടു വീഡിയോസ് ഏർലി ഇയർ സോ സി ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഗ്രാവിറ്റി സെക്ഷൻ ഡൗൺ കണക്ടിങ് ദ ലിക്വിഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ദ ഫിൽറ്റർ സെക്ഷൻ സോ സം ടൈം ഇൻലെറ്റ് സ്ക്രബർ നെയിം ഈസ് കോളിങ് നോക്കൌട്ട് ഡ്രം ഇൻലെറ്റ് നോക്കൌട്ട് ഡ്രം ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയ നോക്കൌട്ട് ഡ്രം എക്സിറ്റ് നോക്കൌട്ട് ഡ്രം ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഓൺ ഔട്ട്ലെറ്റ് നോക്കൌട്ട് ഡ്രം മെനി നെയിംസ് ആർ യൂസിങ് സോ കൈൻഡ്ലി യു ജസ്റ്റ് വിസിറ്റ് യുവർ പ്ലാന്റ് ഏരിയ ആൻഡ് സി ദാറ്റ് ഓൺ വെർ ഈസ് യുവർ നോക്കൌട്ട് ഡ്രം വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് യൂസിങ് ദ ഫിൽറ്റേഴ്സ് ആർ യൂസിങ് ഓർ വാട്ട് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് നോർമൽ നോക്കൌട്ട് ഡ്രം ആൻഡ് ഹൗ ദ ലിക്വിഡ് ഈസ് കളക്ടിങ് ഹിയർ സോ ദീസ് പോയിന്റ്സ് യു ഹാവ് ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഫോർ ബെറ്റർ ക്ലിയർ ഐഡിയ ഓൺ സക്ഷൻ സ്ക്രബർ സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് ദ എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ താങ്ക്സ് ഫോർ വാച്ചിങ് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് കമൻസ് ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ടു മോട്ടിവേഷൻ മോട്ടിവേറ്റ് മീ so definitely i will uh, increase more and more uh, uh, videos in coming time coming videos in future thank you and uh, in next video we will be going to discuss about a centrifugal compressor in detail construction details design details and uh, safety aspects etc etc we are going to discuss thanks for watching this video please subscribe this channel for timely updates and information and please join our telegram channel infos by hamsa vivava for various updates thanks for watching